Turning now to the latest news on the race to fill Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat, a new UC Berkeley poll shows Republican Eric Early taking an early lead in the race. He's joining us now for more on the campaign and reaction to these positive numbers. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Eric. We appreciate it. Always great being here, Hunter. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, a business owner, uh, attorney, and, and no stranger to the political uh, landscape here? Talk about what right now people are so drawn to uh, about your message. Well, you know, first of all, I'm not a politician. I don't need politics in my life. My wife, actually, who's from the San Diego area, she's a registered nurse. We have four kids, three dogs, and a cat. I run a great law firm. I started it a number of years ago, 25 lawyers. We practice all around the country and all around the state. We don't need politics in our life, and we do this because we love this country. And uh, we love this state, and things are a mess. And these three that I'm running against, uh, Schiff, Porter, and Barbara Lee on the other side, they've been in Congress for a total, total of 53 years, and they've helped create this mess, and they've done nothing for California. So, uh, so we stepped up, and this message is, is resonating. And yes, I ran for attorney general in the last race. I got a uh, million two hundred thousand votes around the state, and. Uh, we're fighting for all Californians. Frankly, I say I fight for all forgotten Californians, all forgotten Americans, and I'm one of them. Uh, regardless of what party you're in nowadays, we know that things have gone way too far. And so, uh, you know, we're getting a great message around the state. I'm fighting for our parents and our children. Uh, you know, we live in a state now that if you want to find out what's going on with your kid in their school, the teachers are prevented from telling the parents by laws that have come out of this state. It's just, it's ridiculous. And, uh, and all of this stuff that, te that is being beaten into our kids' heads, frankly, this gender ideology stuff, it's got to be taken out. And we need, a, we need elected officials again fighting for our parents. And that's what I, that's what I do. And uh, crime, we know it's out of control. I'm very tough on crime. We have to punish violent criminals again. What a strange right. concept. Borders have to be locked down. Fentanyl, I believe we need the death penalty for fentanyl traffickers, frankly, and you know, all kinds of other major issues. And everybody I'm running against on the other side is has policies and positions exactly the opposite of mine. Eric, talk to me about those policies. What would be some of those top priorities for you if elected? What's one of the first things that you would tackle uh, taking on this role? Uh, you know, along the lines of what I was saying, I'll do whatever I can to fight for our parents in the state of California, because right now we have a government in this state that believes that the schools control the kids. And you know what? Parents control the kids. And for any parents who have found this out firsthand, if they want to know what's going on with their kids in school, good luck getting information from the teachers. Uh, crime, you know, out of control, frankly. And we know why. There's something out here called criminal justice reform, which is uh, flinging open the cell doors, letting your violent felons run free and all kinds of other things. We've got to have somebody like me again who supports our brave men and women of law enforcement and supports punishing criminals again. Inflation, huge issues. Where does it stem from? Most of us know it. You got a government out of control, spending money our, our nation doesn't have. Uh, we've got to cut back on spending. We've got to, frankly, drill again for energy. We've got to be energy independent again in this country. First thing anybody will tell you actually is telling you the truth. We become energy independent. We bring down the price of our gas and oil. And all of this inflation stuff follows. The right. prices go down with it. So many major things. And Schiff, Porter, and Lee, who I'm up against in this race, they all have completely the opposite policies. And right now, leading uh, above Katie Porter by about 18% of likely voters. Again, that Berkeley poll we were talking about, about. Final question here, Eric, when it comes to, as you mentioned earlier, regardless of people's backgrounds, their political affiliation, here in the state of California, you will have to reach across the aisle and be able to work with Democrats. How will you do that in being able to keep a lot of those major priorities you just listed there uh, still at the forefront of your efforts? Well, you know, it's a great question. I say I fight for all forgotten Californians, and those are just not us Republicans and conservatives. There's tons of moderate Democrats and tons of independents and other parties who have been left behind by these elected Democrats. Frankly, these elected Democrats have stolen the name of the elected party. They're, they're socialists. 
Some of them are American Marxists, and if they ran as for the American Socialist Party or the American Marxist Party, they'd never get elected. So unfortunately, so many great Democrat voters, fair, decent, good, honest Americans are being snookered by their elected representatives. I'm reaching out to them as well. And I need your support, ericearly.com, E-R-I-C-E-A-R-L-Y.com. As you said, I'm leading in the race, and I've only been in the race for a month. Yeah. The others have been in for months and months, and they've been collecting money for months and yeah. months. So well, we need that. It is something uh, we are certainly going to be watching very closely as we head into those primaries. Eric Early, we appreciate your time tonight. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thanks so much. You too. You too. Thanks so much for having me.